Right guys, Gaft is back with the explanation to the ESP prediction trick. You are going to need a roughing stick or the gaff stick produced by the mad paper people. And a deck. Oh, and a Sharpie. Now what I've done is I have taken 12 duplicate cards. The Seven of Arts. In fact, I haven't got 12, I've got 11. Because if you're going to get a spectator to roll a dice, the largest number is 12, the smallest number is 2. So you don't need 12 gimmicked cards, you only need 11. But then you need 22 gimmick cards. So basically, I've taken a Copag Svengali deck to create this effect because I needed 11 Seven of Arts. Now, on the back of every card... I have drawn an ESP symbol. These are the gaff cards. Each one of these cards has a seven underneath. But you can deal these cards off as one because they got the roughing barn. But if up here there's nothing so they will separate. So I've got 11 and they've all got a different symbol on the back of the back card. Uh, the seven of hearts is a different symbol. But it is a seven of hearts. So these... 11 or 22 cards have all got a different symbol on the back but each one of these cards is the seven of arts on the face but each seven of arts is a different symbol on the back they're all random symbols there's no duplicate symbols on the on this part of the deck and then on the underside of the deck i've got another 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 Duplicate cards. Now these are all random cards, but the back will always be the same. And once again, these cards are joined together with the gaff stick, the roughing bar made by the mad paper people. So I can push over these cards to count as one. But if any point I want to separate this card, if I push lightly on the top, it will separate to show the, the Joker. Yes, yeah, 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 the Joker. But what you've got is this four symbol on the back. So when they stop on the three of hearts, you will push off this three and throw this. Oh, yeah, you're going to throw this card down, aren't you? Of course you are. I'm getting confused on my own trick. So you've got those 11 on the top and you're forcing the seven of hearts. And you've got 11 cards on the bottom and you are forcing this symbol. So they're going to go on the bottom. This will all go in the pack. Oh, and the cards themselves. This duplicate this way round. I'll turn this card over and I have roughed, if I can see myself down here but nothing in this top right hand corner of the face down cards just so that it will stay as one card if i push here but if i push here it will separate so that's the top 11 and the bottom cards if i can even separate it the roughing balm is on the face of this card down the side and nothing in this top left hand corner. This is your four symbol. That will sit there and you can get rid of that. So the way the trick works is, and it will work in the real world. Um, I've never tried this trick in the real world. I only made it the other day. But there is no reason this would not work in the real world. You know who I'm talking about. Right. Let me just say something crazy. Oh, you're going to have your predictions, which I've forgotten to have with me, but you can have the seven of hearts predicted and the symbol predicted somewhere. I mean, you could have a seven of hearts with that written, that symbol written on the back of it in a wallet or something. But the way it works is um, you're going to show them, look, the cards have all got a different symbol on the back. You can't go too far through because they will start to see the same symbol. But they'll think, yep, yeah, it's all a different symbol. Right, I want you to take a couple of dice and roll them. And whatever number this dice lands on, 
we will deal down from either the top or the bottom. It's a completely free choice. Let's say they, you want to deal from the top. You just need to be wary that you're going to count to five. So you're going to count to the fourth card. So that's one, two, three, four. You need to briefly pause here because you're going to have to push up in this corner here. And say, so, look, if you've had a three, it would have been this card. A four would have been this card. And all you're going to do is push lightly from this corner to push over what they think is the fourth card. So you've got four luck. To reveal the seven of hearts so you're just going to throw this symbol down like this you're not going to show in the face at this point all you're going to do is count four so you're going to go one two three when you get to the fourth card pause and say look if you said four it would have been this card three would have been this card but you've got five push this off lightly show them the fifth card and place it on the table these are all doubles but this roughing barn works so well. You can push that over as a single card look, but you've only got to apply a bit of pressure here and these will separate. So that's the first one. You're going to do exactly the same on the face. They're going to roll whatever number they get on. Right, uh, five, six, seven. Just push over six cards to start with. One, two, three, four, five. And show them that's... I think that's separated then, didn't it? I think we've got a bit of a funny card going here. Right, we've got something going on here. That's a double, 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 double. That's a triple. I may not have put this back together when I actually... Oh, that's it. When I actually performed the trick before. So it's going to be seven. So count off six. One, two three four five this is a sixth card just pause momentarily because you need to push lightly in this top corner which the cards ran the wrong way so make sure when you've got this roughing bar on your cards the cards are all in the right orientation one two three four five six if you'd have had six or five but you had seven push off in this corner Throw down what is the seventh card. You can now go to your predictions. You can make it look like you got the predictions wrong, the wrong symbol and the wrong card, but then you're just going to reveal the right symbol and the right card. So that's it, guys, with all that fumbling we got there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So that card goes back with that one the right way. And what was it? Five, wasn't it? One. Two, three, four. Yeah, that card is going to go with that symbol. Where's the rough? Oh, here we go. We're getting mixed up now. One, two, three. F ah, there's two of them. So it wants to go that way. And we should have another one somewhere. There's one. Where's the rough on it there? So that will go there. So that should be it. We should be back now. One, two, three. No. One, two. Got too many cards here. What's going on? That is supposed to be there. We've got a seven missing somewhere. Now we've got three cards here. That's it. Where's the rough? There. Right, that's definitely it now. So this deck should be back in order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Double cards. Then you've got a few random cards. And then you've got your stack of eleven on the bottom. So I do hope after all that fumbling around, that trick was clear enough for you. Like I say, because you've only got roughing bar missing from certain parts of the cards. Before you do the trick, just double check that you can separate the cards from the top if you need to. So that's it guys, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to Gaff Academy, post notifications on, and we'll see you tomorrow. And um, the gaffers um, offset some of his carbon footprint today by planting a load of trees. So we, even though I'm burning the trees for wood, for heat, I am putting the trees back to recreate the oxygen. So yeah, my carbon footprint is, Good. Cheers.